Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Natalie. This is a YouTube channel where I help people on how to make a website using WordPress. Today I will talk to you about how you can sell products and services with WordPress using free tools. With this setup, you can easily gain more money and more customers for your business to grow. Let me show you. As you can see, this is a gorgeous landing page to sell your products or digital services on the internet. We have the option to customize and stylize the design that will be displayed on the front end. We can, for instance, make changes to match our brand and products. This is amazing. So, without any further delay, let's begin. The theme I'm using is Cadence, the free theme. We install now the free plugin for our sales funnel. Plugin tab, add new. The first one is block navigation. It provides a sidebar with the current page blocks and some tools to facilitate the editing process inside the Gutenberg editor. This is optional. The next one is Ultimate Add-ons for Gutenberg. It gives you a number of unique and creative blocks for Gutenberg. It, ha it has a 5-star rate and more than 300,000 of active installations. The next one is Card Flows. This is a funnel builder for one WordPress. It's more than one, it has more than 100,000 active installations with a high rate in WordPress repository. It has a free and a pro versions. We will be using only the free version for this video. As you can see, I have already created two products on the WooCommerce product list tab. This is created by the Cadence theme. So we get the card flows tab on the WordPress dashboard. Let's start creating our flow. We get this interface, which is very simple and clean. We just need to go to Flows at the top and Add New. So click Flows, Add New. Once it's done, we get, we get built-in ready templates. You have free and pro templates. If you over, if you over them, you get the preview. Let's try this one. This is a pro user ready template with upsell and downsell. You can use them if you upgrade to the pro version. Let's try another one, this ebook. A flow is a series of steps. Usually the free users get three steps we can customize our way. Let's go back to the WordPress dashboard. Actually, we can filter by a funnel collection which includes the three steps or we can filter by a single page template you need to go to the website to the card flows templates website here we can filter by a funnel collection which includes the three steps or we can filter by a single page template where you can use your flow step. You can import in just one mouse click. So I go with this one, Evergreen. I like it, it offers three steps. So I click in the button to start the importing process. We need to name it. I call it Smartwatch Sales Funnel. Then press the button. Once it's done, all the assets are pulled in and configured. All links are already set up for us. The landing page is linked to the checkout page and the checkout page is linked to the thank you page. Press on the view button and this is our landing page and we can edit with Gutenberg like any other page builder.
get back to the WordPress dashboard, close inside the general settings tab, the ready templates, we choose Gutenberg from the drop menu and for the checkout I choose this slot product name to replace the default WooCommerce checkout page. Save the changes. And these are the three steps as you can see our product has been assigned. Another thing you can do inside this interface is to drag up and drag down the steps. Just select the hamburger icon and then drag and drop. You can even delete one of the steps by clicking on the delete option. I don't need to delete any so I want to edit the landing page. Click on the edit button and edit with Gutenberg. There you are. We are now visualizing the smartwatch landing page in the Gutenberg editor. If we click instead in the view option, we get the full page. I don't want to change anything as I, I like this way. So go back to WordPress dashboard. Let me explain about the checkout page settings. Flow, checkout, edit, and then settings on top. You can enable, enable the design settings by pressing here. It is great if you are using shortcodes inside the page. If enabled, you can customize the design as well as use shortcodes, as I said previously. Just play around with these tabs. My settings are saved. We come back to our flow. Now we begin to update my inside Gutenberg. So here we are inside Gutenberg. If you press the gear icon, you get the checkout page settings. To the right you have this icon. It is a step settings. We also get the block navigation icon where you can customize. The navigation tabs allows you to select easily any Gutenberg block. The settings tab is the ability to choose a color scheme. Play around with it and I don't want to make further changes. It fits my needs, so I like this way, update. And now I come back to the WordPress dashboard and I want to customize the thank you page. First, select the block. I want to edit the icon of the info box. In the image icon, I want above title. The source is an image from my media library. And then I select my new logo. The icon width. I want 250 pixels, it's fine. I also want a solid separate line after the title with a 12 pixels width in black color. I want to add a thank you video to my customer. So I need to add a video block. 
I will use a random YouTube URL video. I'm gonna embed it here. I think videos are very convenient in these kind of transactions. I went to YouTube, grab the URL, then I inserted the, YouTube, the URL here. So, There you have, beautiful. I also want to set the media settings for smaller devices by enabling the media settings tab. Okay, below the video I want two buttons. So click on the button to have the new section. Block below and type in multi-buttons. Multi then in each of them change the text and the background color. My background color is this one and then I copy paste to the other one. Apply the changes and update. Let's check now the responsiveness in devices. We use the inspector tool, so I press from my keyboard, Control shift i if you are on a PC, in a Mac is Command-Shift-I, and I test it with iPhone 10. Looking good, looking good. And then iPad Pro, looking great. So the final step is the responsiveness is the responsiveness of the thank you page. We use the inspector, control shift I. In the iPad Pro is good. Let's see in iPhone 10. Well icons, icons list is not center. Let's fix this. Go back to flows. Thank you. Edit with Gutenberg. Now select the icons, change the alignment, align to center, update and don't forget to refresh the page. Let's check now, Gutenberg and let's check with iPhone. Well, now it's centered. Now for the iPad Pro. Okay. It's totally responsive. Now you can implement this on your website or business to gain more customers and money. It's super easy. So, I'm Nat Natalie. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe and like buttons. Give card flows a try to see some improvements on your own website. Let me know in the comments if you have already used this. That's all for today. See you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.